Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to our series of Azure Active Directory. And in this video, we are going to talk about Microsoft Authenticator app and how that app can be used to implement passwordless sign-in for the users of your enterprise or your tenant. The agenda of this video will be completely focused on implementing passwordless authentication. So the very first thing that we'll do is we'll check how to enable this feature what are the different portal configuration that you have to do as an admin? What are the different set of settings which a user has to select so that he or she can use Microsoft Authenticator application for passwordless sign-in? And the last thing that we'll talk about is the entire user experience. So if you have not enabled this feature, users will be typing username and password. But once this feature is enabled, they'll only get a notification on the Authenticator app which once approved, they will be able to sign in without typing the password. So now let's proceed by knowing how to enable passwordless authentication. The very first thing that you have to do as an admin is you have to ask your users to install Microsoft Authenticator application, and that's available for both the platforms, Android as well as iOS. Now, once the Authenticator application is installed, this app has to be registered per user so that a particular instance of that application can be used for passwordless sign-in. Now, we know that initially we had two different portals, MFA setup as well as SSPR setup, but there is a new converged registration process that has been introduced lately, and the portal is known as aka.ms forward slash my security info. So what you have to do as an admin, you have to enable users so that they can get themselves registered on this particular portal. If you have not enabled this feature for a specific set of user, he or she will not be able to register the security information or Microsoft Authenticator app on this particular portal. Just to show you guys where exactly you can find this information, let me switch to my browser where I have signed in as Global Admin. And as you can see, the very first thing that you have to do is you have to click on Azure Active Directory, then click on Security, then click on Authentication Methods. And as you can see, if I have selected the first option, which says authentication method policy, I'm getting this notification, which says click here to enable users for enhanced registration preview. Now preview word is there because this is in preview. It's, it's very simple. But as I have said before, that this feature can be enabled for a specific set of users for all the users or for a selected set of users that you have kept in the group. Now, I have enabled this feature for a specific group called passwordless and this has only one user named as enter. Now why I'm showing you this because if I try to sign in to this portal from a user who is not enabled to use this feature, they will not be able to register the required set of information and let me show you how it works. So I'm going to switch to my browser where I'm going to sign in from a user who is not a part of this particular group. So this is my browser and I'm going to sign into aka.ms forward slash my security info. And I'm going to use an account which is not a part of this particular group. So as of now, this group has only one user which is enter but I'll be using a different account, which is a MFA account. So let me type the UPN MFA concepts .com. And once I'll type in the password, I should get a notification at the top that your organization has not enabled this feature for you. Contact your admin. As you can see that I'm getting the same set of information. If I try to click on security info, I must get an error message and as you can see that this feature is not enabled for my account which is MFA that's why I cannot do any of the registration process so what I'll do is I'll sign out from here and now I will be signing in from the account which is enabled to use this particular 
portal. But before I do that, I would also like to show you the settings which has to be done or which has to be enabled for users so that they can register Microsoft Authenticator application for passwordless sign-in. For that, you select the same option, security authentication method and authentication method policy. And here you will get this option of Microsoft Authenticator passwordless sign-in. So as you can see that I can actually enable or disable this feature for a particular set of users or all the users. So what I have done is I have enabled this feature for password less group and this group has only one member. So now what I will do is I will switch to my other browser where I will be signing with this particular account. I will get myself registered with an authenticator app and then I will show you what exactly the user experience is. So this is my browser where I will be signing with the user account, which I have enabled for the registration on my security info. And here I will be registering the authenticator app on my phone just to see what will be the user experience. So we will be registering authenticator app but in a nutshell, our end goal is to enable password less sign in and check what exactly the user experience is. So as of now, I'm signed in with an account for which I have enabled this sign in for my security info. And since this account, which is named as enter is a part of a group called passwordless, I'm able to sign in. And now I'm getting this option of add method. Now, as you can see, I'm going to select authenticator app and then I'm going to click on add. I'll click on next. And now it is showing me the option to set up my account. I'll click on next and let me bring my phone also on this particular screen. So as you can see, I'm now I'm going to click on authenticator app and then I'll click on accounts and I will click on add account. And I'm going to select work or a school account. Now I'm just going to scan this particular code. And the account will be added on my phone. As you can see, this account has been added in my phone. Now I'll go back and I'll click on next. This page will give me a prompt that a notification has been sent on your phone. Please approve. And as you can see, the moment I'll click on approve, this particular phone or this particular instance of authenticator app will be added to my account. Now what I'll do is I'll sign off from this particular instance of my session and I'll close the browser and I relaunch it. And this time we'll use the password less experience to sign in. And for that, there are a couple of changes that you have to do. So for that, what I'll do is I'll switch to my phone as you can see right now and I'll click on this drop down icon. Now the moment I'll click on drop down, I'm getting this option of enable phone sign in. The moment I'll click on this, it is giving me a warning which says device registration is not completed for this particular device. So I'll click on cancel. I'll click on this menu icon and then I'll click on settings. And as you can see, I'm getting this option of device registration. Now what I'll do is I'll enter my UPN and then it should for sure ask me what's your password so that it can get my device registered. Let's see what is the user experience. And as you can see, I am getting the prompt now to enter my password. So I'll enter my password and click on sign in. So I've entered my password and I've clicked on sign in. What this process is all about is the registration of this device to a specific tenant. Now I'll go back to my account and as you can see that now if I click on enable phone sign in, both the checks are completed. And if I'll click on continue, I'll get one more prompt to enter my password so that the verification process is completed. And as you can see, after entering my password, I'm getting this option of approve request on my phone. Now, the moment I will click on approve, there will be a small key icon that will start getting listed with my account. 
that means as a user which is enter at the red concepts work.com this particular user has enabled password less sign in and let me show you this icon as you can see this is the icon that i'm referring to now what i'll do is i'll close this browser after signing out from here and i'll relaunch the browser and i'll show you what will be the password less experience so i've relaunched the browser and now i'm going to portal.azure.com i'll not go to uh, my security info because that portal is used to update the information that you want likewise your second factor or if you want to add one more authenticator app or if you want to remove it or if you want to add contact number anything uh, apart from uh, normal login that means you're trying to update your second factor information then you can go to that particular link but now since password less is enabled for this particular user you can use any of the Microsoft online application to check what is the user experience and as you can see I'm getting the prompt on my phone now the moment I will click on 68 I will be signed in and as you can see it's asking for me to verify my touch ID that means the second factor is also getting completed and as you can see in the browser at the back I'm signed in now and the moment I will click on yes I will land up to portal.azure.com so this will be the entire user experience wherein the user is not prompted for password the moment he or she enters the username there will be a notification that will be sent to the phone once the notification is approved the user can sign in now so this was all about knowing how passwordless authentication works if you guys have learned something new please feel free to subscribe if you have any feedback query or suggestion please feel free to reach me at learnconceptswork at gmail.com thank you so much thanks bye bye